Hi YouTube, it's Calandra. I'm coming at you with another video. It's been a long time, but I'm back. There's a reason why it took me so long to come back. I actually had um, more orders than I care to admit to uh, from Outlook.com and also a couple of Sephora orders and I wanted to wait until everything came in before I showed it to you. So here's my little mini haul. Um, first, uh, I guess I should show you some little drugstore things that I found. Everybody keeps talking about these great wet and wild palettes. So finally I decided to try them. So I picked up a color icon and actually sometimes they're not that easy to find. I bought these at Rite Aid for 5 five dollars this is the 249 vanity palette and I'll open it up for you in a second and this is the lust palette the vanity palette is a really great palette of neutrals and I'm sorry for the lighting hopefully we'll be able to see something here beautiful neutrals um, browns vanilla gorgeous and it works brown girls it really works and these are this is a lust palette um, it's got shimmer and matte, and it's mostly like a violets, purples, you know, light pinkish. Really, really nice. And because there's multiple colors in here, there's multiple textures in here, you can really have fun with it. Um, some Sephora stuff that I bought recently. Um, this is Smashbox um, Photo Finish Light Oil Free Foundation Primer. Um, this is not what I thought it was. It's kind of like a lotion. Um... I had had another Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that was a clear gel, so I don't know what I did wrong, but I think I brought the wrong thing. This is okay, though. It works. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I also picked up, because I was looking for a lip, a lip butter for the summertime, so I picked up Cora's Lip Butter in Guava because it's clear. I'm already halfway through it. I've already ordered two more. Um, they're about $10 a piece, but they do go a long way. Lovely, lovely, lovely for the lips. Um, I also <laughs> did a lot of Rock and Republic shopping on Outlook.com. They have had Rock and Republic sales at least three in the last month. And actually, they're getting ready to start another one tomorrow. Um, so I picked up some colors, probably more than I needed to, and I've actually already given away a couple of shadows. But here is Rock and Republic. You know, you guys know I love Rock and Republic. I love their um, packaging. Here is Wrath, which is a, a nice um, um, burnt copper color. Not too coppery. Um, actually like a sparkly brown. Okay, I'm really not good with describing colors. Alloy, which is a nice highlight color. Uh, it's kind of like a tan bronzy color. I have Scorch, which is a light orange shimmery color. They're all starting to look the same, so I have slowed down. And Adrenaline, which is a nice fiery rust color. The thing is, when these are on sale for like three fifty or five dollars a piece, and normally they run, I don't remember how much they are. You just start picking up colors because you can't help it. This is an oldie but a goodie. I actually have this on today. I destroyed my other Mediterranean compact from Nars, my favorite, my new favorite um, eyeshadow. So I have Mediterranean. I actually have that on now. I'm thinking about doing a look um, on this soon. And I'm wearing it with Taj Mahal blush, which is um, used to be my favorite NARS blush, but actually my favorite NARS blush is Exhibit A, and I've told you all that a million times before. This I have been waiting to buy for so long. Erin at Scandalous Beauty, my number one go-to guru, um, talked about this as a nude color. And you have to excuse me because I've already started using it, and so there's a little color on it. This is Honolulu Honey. This I have been waiting for a long time to buy. This is a great nude color, and I really had to start to embrace nudes. This was it. And I think I talked about this on my last video, but this is the NARS um, Giza lip gloss, which I use with it. Um, a great dupe for this is in Revlon. I think it's called Nude, but there's a Revlon... Um, Great, great dupe for this if you don't want to pay the NARS price. I talked about this on a last video. This is the lilac, <laughs> the lilac color by MAC that I can't remember because I can't see what the, um, the, the glaze shade is. Um, but it's, it's something lilac. <laughs> and I don't think I had the gloss, the lip glass to show you, but this is the lip glass that goes with it. It's a dazzle, gla ugh, dazzle glass cream. 
in Gone Romancing, which is really pretty, and I have that combination on right now. Another one of my favorites that I talked about before, but I'm going to talk about it again, is the Revlon Colorstay Felt Liner Eyeliner Pen. I actually brought another one in brown, so that's why I'm bringing it up again, because it's a really nice drugstore buy, and it's really good for people who have bad, not steady hands. Okay, Kevin Aquan. A lot of you um, from uh, last year know that I, I started... Um, getting Kevin Aquan. Kevin Aquan was, um, you know, like a, a Sam Fine-ish, I think even bigger than Sam Fine, although nobody's bigger than Sam Fine. Um, great, great makeup artist who passed away. He's got a wonderful line of cosmetics. When they're on sale on Outlook.com, I have been known to pick up a few. I actually gave some away. Um, these are really pretty colors. This is um, like a light peachish color. It's called Whisper. This is Aubergine, which is one of my favorite crease colors. I had messed this one up, so I actually had bought a new one. This is a shimmery um, mauve. They're all starting to look the same. I know, y'all. Goddess. This is why I'm not buying um, any more for a while. And this is a pretty purple passion. This is really pretty, like a mauve purple. I know they're all like mauve. Okay. Um... I have to say, though, Aubergine is my favorite because it's a great crease color. I didn't find a big color payoff on these other colors, but I think it's just because I've got to work them right. Don't give up on your shadows um, because these are great lines of shadows, so I will never say anything bad about Kevin Aquan's shadows. But I think it's just that I really need to find the right look for them. Um, this shouts out to my girl Chantel. Um, she and I went to college. Well, we didn't go together, but we found each other and, um, we went to the same school and she had this lip gloss that I thought was so cute. It's from Artistry and the color is champagne and it's really, really, really cute. This is girly. All right. So it's got a mirror and when you open it up, oh, it's got a light inside. We went to a banquet and she pulled it out. And she pulled it out, and in the middle of the banquet, I just looked over at her, and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. Shouts out to Chantel. Um, today, I went to Target, and I've never bought this before, but I finally bought a Sonia Cashin brush. I thought this was the cutest little package, and I have to figure out, one, how to open it, and two, what I'm going to do with the packaging later, um, after I figure out how to open it. And I haven't quite done that yet. I'm sure somebody will be commenting, but it's a stipple brush. I needed it for my concealer. I also ordered um, a pointed eyeliner brush. I know you're like, okay, Kalandra. And from Sephora, because I wanted to. Oops. And finally, today, in my mail, I was waiting for the UPS man. I was standing at the door. I heard the truck rolling up, and I came. Today, I finally got my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Now, I've told you before, me and Urban Decay are kind of funny, but I'm starting to embrace Urban Decay. Um, I was refusing to buy the Naked Palette. They were like, oh, it's out of stock. It's flying off the shelves. I'm like, eh, let it fly. But I saw Beat Face Honey do the most amazing look with Naked Palette. I am going to tackle that. That is going to be my next challenge. It comes, of course, I know you're like, Conjure, this is so old, um, with the Primer Potion, which I'm starting to embrace. Okay, I know y'all like, okay. All right, and I have not opened this yet. This is the first time I'm opening it. So since you all probably know, oh, I didn't know it was like velvet. Okay. Uh, oh, pretty. Pretty. Okay, there's the mirror. And I will just flip it so I can show you the colors. <gasps> pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. I am going to do the look that Beat Face Honey did and we will see if I can pull it off. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do a tutorial. I actually wore my uh, Ardell 110s today. I very rarely wear the falsies anymore, but um, I'm gonna show you this look. I'm gonna show you a great black smoky eye that I wore a couple of weeks ago at a formal gala, and I hope to get this Naked Palette tutorial up soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Bye.